solve the equation using the completed the square method x squared plus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0 hi everyone welcome to my class in this class we want to look at how we can quickly solve this quadratic equation using the completed the square method but before we proceed please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you solution we have x square plus 6 s minus 2 equal to 0. In solving this equation, we will have used factorization method, but this equation is not easy to be factorized. That is why we have to use completely the square method. This implies that we have s square plus 6 s is equal to 2. That is, this minus 2 will come to the other side, it will come plus 2. Then we know that we have a s square plus b s plus c is equal to 0. Now, here the coefficient of s square here is 1 and the coefficient of x here is 6. Why? The constant is what? 2. Now, what do we do next? Had the square of half of the coefficient of x of x to both sides that is we want to add the square of half of the coefficient of x to both sides of the equation that is what is the coefficient of x we have six x then the coefficient of x is equal to what? 6. Then the half is, we have 6 multiplied by 1 over 2, which is equal to what? 6 over 2, then which is equal to what? 3. Then when we square it, the square is, this implies that we have 3 square. So we want to add it to both sides. That is, we have s square plus 6 s then plus 3 square will be equal to what? We have 2 plus 3 square. Now, this implies that we have s square plus 6 s. 3 square is 9 plus 9 is equal to we have 2 plus 9. Then, this implies that we have s square plus 6 s plus 9 is equal to 2 plus 9 that is 11 now for the left hand side we have s this sign is plus then here is what 3 let's square it is equal to what 11 then we have s plus this 3 square is equal to 11 what do we do next we take the square root of both sides. This implies that we have square root of s plus 3 square is equal to plus or minus square root of 11. Then this one we can solve this. We have s plus 3 equal to plus or minus square root of 11. This implies that we have s is now equal to plus or minus square root of 11. If this plus 3 called other side, it will be called minus 3. Therefore, we are looking for the value of s. So we have s is now equal to, let's take the positive sign first root 11 minus 3 or s is equal to minus root 11 minus 3 therefore our final answer is s is equal to root 11 minus 3 comma minus root 11 
minus chili if you have enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you